Hello everyone. Namaskar. Raj Krishna this side and we are continuing the series of uh, integration in which we are learning integration from basics and one more question in this series. So this time we have to integrate tan inverse secant x plus tan x. So how can we move forward to it? Uh, it may be written uh, one uh, condition for this problem that x belongs to close interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Okay. So some restrictions are there. So first of all we need to simplify. That's understood to you. So we don't have a direct formula for secant x plus tan x. So what we'll do, we'll try to simplify it further by writing it in terms of sine and cos. So integral of tan inverse secant x is 1 by cos x and tan x is sine x divided by cos x. Integral of tan inverse 1 plus sine x divided by cos x. Now I told you that we will simplify but are you able to further simplify this because we don't have again no formula exists for 1 plus sin x as such. So what we can do here? It again looks uh, difficult from here, isn't it? 1 plus sin x if I see, we don't have any formula and same is for uh, if I see at 1 plus sin x, it reminds me of the this 1 plus cos 2x. But cos is there, but here we have sin. So can we convert sin to cos? Yes, we can. Because uh, if we write cos pi by 2 minus x, that is same as sin x. In that case, let's see what numerator looks like. So tan inverse 1 plus cos of pi by 2 minus x because cos pi by 2 minus x is sin x. Now in this case, we are getting 1 plus cos something like uh, 1 plus cos x. And 1 plus cos x should give you 2 cos square x by 2. And again, we have in denominator cos x. So what we will do? Now, things are getting a bit difficult uh, at this point of time. So again, if there would have been sine, so we would have written 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2, something like that. So again, in denominator also change this cos to sine. So we can write this as sine pi by 2 minus x. Now, what as we can do? 1 plus cos x is 2 cos square x by 2. So 2 cos square x by 2. So this pi by, now if I divide this by 2, pi by 2 minus x whole divided by 2. Pi by 2 divided by 2 will give you pi by 4 and x divided by 2 is x by 2. So this can be written in a simplified manner like this. Pi by 4 minus x by 2. divided by. Now, again, if I, in denominator, I treat this just like sin x. So, sin x can be written as 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2. So, half of this angle I have already calculated here. So, here, in denominator, which you are seeing sin pi by 2 minus x, this can be written as 2 sin 
half of this angle which is nothing but pi by 4 minus x by 2 and cos of the same angle which is pi by 4 minus x by 2. Now, 2 can be cancelled easily. 1 cos. You are left with cos in numerator, sin in denominator. Cos by sin is nothing but cot. Again, tan inverse of cot x, something like that. Again, we don't have a formula. So, I think I have choose the complex uh, path for solving this question, but let's deal it uh, like this only. The simpler uh, process we'll uh, see uh, next day somewhere as. So, again, cot, again, we have to change in terms of tan. So, that tan inverse of tan x becomes x. X means whatever is inside. So how can we do? We can write this as tan pi by 2 minus X. That means tan pi by 2 minus X is whatever is inside. So this is uh, pi by 2 minus pi by 4 plus x by 2. Pi by 2 is 90, pi by 4 is 45. So 90 minus 45 is again pi by 4 plus x by 2. Tan inverse tan of pi by 4 plus x by 2. Now I will have to see tan inverse of tan x is x only when x belongs to minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So now because here in the question in initially it was mentioned that x belongs to minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 will not go by this x will want this bracket to be between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So, because initially x belong to this interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So, if I say for interval for x by 2, so that will be half of this. So, between minus pi by 4 and pi by 4, fine. So, this entire bracket will vary between the least value of uh, this x by 2 is minus pi by 4. So at that point, this will become 0. And what uh, is the highest value that it, it can take when this x by 2 becomes pi by 4? So pi by 4 plus pi by 4 is 0 to pi by 2. Fine enough. It's going from 0 to pi by 2, which is clearly in this range. So the bracket which was supposed to be between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 is still in that range because 0 to pi by 2 is uh, inside that range. So yes, we are fine. So now we can move ahead and write tan inverse of tan of this is simply the inner bracket which is pi by 4 plus x by 2 and integrate this. So, integration of pi by 4 is, we are left with integral of pi by 4 this is just simple for you now or you can take uh, 1 by 2 out. This is pi by 4 x plus integration of x is x square by 2. So this becomes 4.
plus a constant c. So pi by 4x plus half, sorry, 1 by 4 x power 4 by half, sorry, pi by 4 x plus 1 by 4 x square plus c. Now look at the story from cloud vision. Now this is at first we saw secant x plus tan x inside. We were not able to further simplify it because we don't have direct formula. So we uh, tried it to break in terms of sine and cos that gave us 1 plus sine x by cos x. Again we were stuck then I thought that why not to change that in sine in terms of cos so that we know formula of 1 plus cos x. So we did that but again to further simplify denominator cos I have to change in terms of sine. When I did that uh, the expression became simpler for me. I get cot in inside but I needed tan inside so again I use the complementary angle concept. So I got tan inside now the problem was whatever is inside tan I wanted that to be between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 and uh, upon research I found that that is between 0 to pi by 2 which is well uh, within that uh, interval. So now pi by 4 plus x by 2 you can easily integrate even uh, when you are sleeping. So that's it. You can uh, watch uh, the playlist which is integration 2023 for more such problems and uh, keep learning.